Hello everybody, hope you're all having a great weekend first of all, and uh, thanks very much for tuning in, I really do appreciate it. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. And uh, for this one, we have another craft beer to review from the Beer 52 uh, subscription service, which I'm uh, currently doing a free trial on, where you get eight beers, two snacks for £6.95, you just pay the postage. Uh, anyway, uh, this one is from the Wild Beer Brewery. Uh, and it is called Mile Maker. And this is their Oat Pal Al. Um, on the front of the can, you just got some guy with his dog on the edge of a cliff. No writing or nothing. Uh, you have to look at the back to find the name of the beer, etc. It's 4.5% ABV, this one. 330ml can. Same as all the others from the Beer 52 that I've got in my pack this month. Uh, yeah, let's crack it open. See what she's all about. The last one I had was very, very nice. So uh, hopefully this will be the same. There we go. Yeah, if you've tried this, guys, let me know what you think of it. I'd be really interested to know. Or if you've, uh, what do you think of Beer 52? A lot of people have said that uh, it's very hard to cancel. You have to call them up. You can't do it. Uh, on the website anymore so that could be fun so very very nice sexy hazy appearance on this beer i must say uh, got a nice brilliant white head quite compact bubbles does look rather good doesn't it let's have a little whiff see what sort of rooms we get mm. it smells hoppy Kind of like getting a fruit, like general fruit aroma, but it's hard to make out what the fruits are. I think it's like a bit of mango, like tropical fruit blend sort of thing, you know. No real standout. It smells all right though. Doesn't have the, uh, the strongest of aromas, but what's there, it smells all right. Let's uh, get it down the neck and see what we think. Cheers, everybody. Gosh. Gosh. Uh, it's got a nice pillowy soft mouth feel um, being, being a sort of um, an oat pad out I suppose it's the oats giving it a really nice soft smooth mouth feel mouth feel is exceptional um it's quite light on the flavour department though. It is only 4.5%. percent i definitely put this under the sort of session uh, category for me. Um, also, has very low carbonation levels, which isn't a bad thing. I think that's also helping it give it that nice, soft, gentle uh, mouthfeel that it has. The combination of the oats and the... Um, low carbonation together. It really does give it a fantastic mouthfeel. Very refreshing, quite hoppy, getting the sort of uh, citrusy sort of vibe about it, without really, not, really being able to pinpoint exactly what. It and uh, getting the fruit in there as well. Again, it's more of a blended uh, citrus and a blended fruit. And it is nice. I'm not saying it's not nice, but you can't really pick out the different fruits. It's more like a overall blend and no real like stound out uh, fruit, if you know what I mean. Very easy drinking. It's very well balanced. Um... Perhaps sometimes I like it when something sort of stands out a bit though. And with this one, it really don't. It's, it's, it's nice, but it's just, there's no real standout thing about it. There's very low bitterness on the end, which you'd expect because um, it is a New England style oat parallel. Uh, so yeah, it's not supposed to have a lot of bitterness. It's 
so it's got very low levels of bitterness but it is there just a slight a slight bitterness um yeah it, it is nice and i suppose the fact that there's no real one flavor that sort of jumps out and grabs you uh whether it be the citrus fruits or the tropical sort of fruits does make it very good for a session beer because you're not going to get sick of any bitterness or you know one particular standout thing because it is just kind of like a gentle mouthfeel and a gentle touch of fruit and citrus sort of thing that makes any sense but the oats have definitely worked wonders on the mouth of this beer and that's by far my favorite part about this beer but it is lacking a bit in the flavor but you know it kind of works for what it is it is a session beer uh, personally just from my own personal opinion i prefer it when it uh that works and it is very well balanced i prefer it when there's just something about it that stands out and makes me think oh yeah that that's that beer that's you know really mangoey or really pineapple -y or very bitter or has a lovely citrusy grapefruit taste whereas with this it's just sort of you know everything's okay but there's nothing that jumps out you know <laughs> <laughs> if that makes sense um scoring out of 10 i am going to give it i'll give it an eight it is, it is it really good but I, I don't think it's amazing for, for me and my taste anyway uh but it is a decent beer it is going down rather nicely and I can tell it's good quality. Uh, if you've tried, uh, tried this beer, let me know if you agree or disagree with me, guys. Thanks very, very much for watching in. I really do appreciate every single one of you. I really do, especially the ones that make it this far. Thanks very much. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to help the channel out, consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel and hitting the little bell button so you get notified when I make a new video. And uh, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend, whatever you're getting up to. And uh, to the next one, guys. Bye-bye, darlings.